Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm with Emery Hunt, the czar of playbook, and I'm Tyler Merkovich bringing you week two coverage of the NFL season. And when you talk Pittsburgh, you think Troy Palomalo. When you talk Chicago, you think Brian Erlocker. Erlocker out for the season, Palomalu out for a few months, Jay Cutler, plenty of interceptions this week one. Ben Roethlisberger showed he might be the best two minute quarterback. In the NFL, what do you see Pittsburgh's keys to victory at Chicago? Keys to victory for Pittsburgh, they have to get that running game going. They have two good backs in Willie Parker and Rashard Mendenhall. Problem is, both those guys were ineffective. Miguel Moore turned out to be the better back. They have to get a lot of production out of all three of those guys, you know, early and often with the Bears. Because uh, you saw last week against the Packers, the Packers were able to run against the Bears. Uh, so the Steelers could have some success running the ball. Number three, keep that rush off Ben Roethlisberger. That is the key. But ben, a part of me feels like Ben Roethlisberger loves the rush because that means he gets to get outside the pocket, scramble, find Heinz Ward down the field. Also, defensively, they're going to have to you know, watch out for uh, Devin Hester because I saw something last week against the uh, Packers. Devin Hester is starting to emerge as a quality threat as a wideout. Also, Earl Bennett. They're going to have to... They're going to have a tough task on their hands with those two wide receivers, as well as Greg Olson and Desmond Clark. That's a formidable four. They look solid against, the, against Green Bay. The question I have, can they get in Cutler's face? Can they you know, disrupt his timing? And can they have the same success that the Packers had against Jay Cutler? Well, another linebacker for Chicago starter, Pina Tiasamoso, might not play either, but... What do we thought of Pittsburgh? We thought their offensive line would be better. You're right. The best running back was Moel De Moore. Parker, they need to get on track. They can't be one-dimensional. But if they are, they got the receivers. They love Mike Wallace. He's moving ahead of the charts. The line is sweet. He's got a lot of speed for Chicago. I love Earl Bennett. love what they're doing. But can this, are they going to get down on the Erlocker injury? Is he that significant on that defense? You know, they got other names like Lance Briggs. Agumie played great. Tommy Harris. Mark Anderson. So this game could be pretty close, I think. I think Pittsburgh, they're not going to run away with the league. They're going to have a few regular season losses, even though they will contend in the North, probably win it and make a wild card spot. What are your keys to victory for Cutler and the Bears? Keys to victory for Chicago is can Hunter Hillemeyer play up to, to uh, the level? Now, if not up to uh, Brian Ur Erlacher, but at least close to it, he's going to have to step up and play big. Also, you want to look at the Bears are going to have to generate their run, uh, start, jumps off that running attack. Forte was shut down last week against the Green Bay. They're going to have to get that guy some success against that Steelers. I know it's the defense, I know it's a tough task, but they're going to have to stay committed to the run to keep this game close. Because you, uh, we saw last week when they, the Bears are one dimensional, they're dysfunctional. Uh, also, special teams, they have to be better on special teams. You know, with Green Bay, they didn't have to worry about the return. There's a deadly returner out there at Pittsburgh. They have to make sure sky kicks, a lot of, you know, coughing upon the punts. I know that's easier said than done, but they're going to have to play solid in all three phases of the game at home. I like Pittsburgh in this game. I think Pittsburgh is going to come in, they're going to slow the game down, and they're going to beat Chicago. I think Chicago is going to start off 0-2. Chicago, Nathan Vasher, Charles Tillman, Daniel Manning, their secondary you know, Aaron Rodgers missed one deep early against Donald Robert. Then the second one was brutal. Jennings got loose. They got a touchdown. That was a game winner. But they need to step up against these bunch of receivers. If they do, and they still mix, I like what they do. Daniel Manning had that safety. Mix it up. I think they have a shot here. The, the, thing, the thing is, with Chicago, you can have success throwing against the Steelers. You know, just like Tennessee had some success throwing against the Steelers. There's a weakness on that defense. It's that secondary. Now without Palomalu, mm -hmm. this could be a key matchup to exploit. Without Palomalu, I like Olsen to get loose. I like Bennett. I like Hester. Bears by a field goal at home. Bounce back. I like it. For more coverage of the NFL, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.